She wanted to be her own person. You cannot change her mind once she sets it. She will go anywhere, do anything in life that she wants to do. I am from Memphis, Tennessee. I am 19 years old and I want to be a filmmaker. Being young, I did, I never knew that this is something that would make me so happy. Like, I didn't know that this was something that I really wanted to do and like, I really wanted to make a career out of it until I got older, which I quickly realized that being from Memphis, there's not a lot of room to be as successful as you want to be this place i'm not going to be able to be successful i'm not going to be able to do what i want to do i'm not going to be able to be seen because i come from such a place where we're just criminals or we're just ghetto or we don't really care about ourselves i want to be the one that changes that mindset that people have about people from Memphis. Growing up, Naya was very free. For the most part, we would be like, where was Naya? But it was because she would be so in her own world that sometimes you would literally have to go and search for her. Naya, at the age that she is now, even before, we always knew, and she most definitely knew that she was going to have something to do with film, be it she be in front or behind. The moment I decided I wanted to be a filmmaker was, um, I'll say a little, it's kind of weird, okay. So I'll say a little bit before the Nike film, but the Nike film was like the push or like the drive to actually want to do it, you know? Because I had always thought about it like in the beginning, because I was a huge like movie critic. So like, I would just like look at, like watch behind the scenes of movies just for fun, you know? Or like, see how they did this, you know? Cause I'd be like, oh, that's cool. Like how did they do that? So yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. I'm really in a place right now where I'm becoming a new person. I really am in tears, which are tears of joy, of course. I said I will have two sources of income with my online internship and I apply to Ross and I have an interview tomorrow. I think this writing thing is helping me out a lot. It's like I am able to clear my head of some things. I start Ross Thursday at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m. and I'm nervous but excited. Hey guys, I'm at work. It's hot. I'm ready to go home. But yeah. I woke up super early today to work on my film and I'm like super tired right now um I have a lot to do as far as like recording and getting footage so I have to finish doing that it rained earlier, so it's been like gloomy all day. And I've been gloomy. It's crazy how the weather can affect your mood. You know? I don't know. But I've been feeling really gloomy today. I've been feeling like crying. It's like I like to come out here and listen to the birds and the bugs. <laughs> Um, I don't know. So, yeah. What's up, y'all? So, I had the amazing 
opportunity to talk with Elle. And I got some really good news about me going to LA. So you guys already know that that has been my dream for the longest. And I'm actually, well possibly going to have the opportunity to go. So I'm supposed to be having a call with her tomorrow just to see um, how everything is going to work out and what's going to happen. So yeah. Preston will get you a plane ticket and you'll come out here and get settled in. I'm the type of person that wants to go out and test out the world. I want to go out and do different things. Like I want to see other things outside of what I'm used to. 